Good morning, Piscianos. Good morning. I hope you guys had a good night's sleep. I hope you woke up today feeling happy, safe, and peaceful. Thank you to everyone that has liked, commented, subscribed, and gave donations. All right, this one's going to be a little tough for me to get out, but let's see. All right, so I heard, oh, I heard, um, I'm not a smart man, but I know what love is. Forrest Gump. Forrest Gump. And there's also this weird feeling that I, I can't quite get out of. It's like, I don't know if you guys possess all of these abilities or one of them, but there's something about you're either having premonitions, dreams about your future or a future person that's coming into your life or you're dreaming it into life basically manifesting but it's like through your dreams or something about you might be reaching towards another dimension and you can kind of see that other dimension and that's why you've been having visions or something about it now let me explain what the bigger energy is here pisces you may be home on your couch not doing much maybe you work from home you know you know maybe you just go, go to work come home and that's basically your life i don't know so but it feels to me that there's something happening to you in this place of maybe solitude i don't feel like you're completely alone but it's like you don't really have a lot of inter interactions you don't really have um you know like you're not part of you i don't know i just don't feel this energy of you doing much but something is happening to you in this place there's this saying i heard it a long time ago don't remember who said it but it goes the f the slower you move the faster you vibrate so i feel like you're in this energy of kind of not being around others too much because you're like you're vibrating very high and maybe that's why you're having these visions conversations with your spirit guides um seeing that other dimension you can actually see it coming towards you or even in a place for many of you where your dreams are coming into life so never think that you're just at home on your couch you're not doing much this is actually you harnessing energy for what's about to come into your life so that you put the energy in the right place now i'm not a smart man but i know what love is you know i'm gonna say this with a lot of love i'm a posse too so as much as we lo love love you don't know shit about love okay and what I mean by that is that some of you may have been closed off because of pains, because of hurts. And maybe that's one of the reasons why you're alone right now. And you're like just doing what you need to do, harnessing this energy, basically vibrating very high right now. Don't be surprised if you attract someone into your life when it's ready, when the time is right for you to listen to your spirit guides those intuitive nudges about where you're supposed to go next and what you're supposed to do don't be surprised that you fall in love and also don't be surprised there's something about an age difference it's really big it's coming like that one is like smacking me in the face that's gonna be an age difference literally smacking me in the face like some of you may have never thought i would date somebody younger date someone that much older you know be open to it pisces that's the feeling that i'm getting when the time is right right now you're in this place of vibrating high because you're alone or in this place of like not really communicating with many people and for some of you pisces is kind of like i feel like you're getting rid of that energy that others have like touched you with you know it's like you're cleansing it it's like a detoxification of people 
and their strange energies. And the reason I say strange is because we don't want that energy on us. We want to vibrate as high as we can. So that may be one of the reasons why you're finding yourself in this place of solitude, in this place of not really mingling. You know, that's what I'm getting there. All right, I hope I made sense. All right, let's begin. Spirit. Angels. Ancestors and higher beings, please help me with this message today for my beautiful Pisces people, my Piscianos. What messages do we have for Pisces? The girls are fighting. That's what came to mind. The girls are fighting. I forgot who said that. I think it's a meme, but I'm not really sure. The girls are fighting. It doesn't have to be girls. But it could just be like people. There's people around you that are fighting. They're looking for a fight, possibly. I don't know. Um, but I feel this is the overall energy. It's in the reversal. It's like, not today, Satan. Not today. I'm not fighting with none of you people. I'm not entertaining these like these like weird little competitive fights that you may be having with each other. This isn't part of my reality. That's why I'm in a place of like, he like not healing, but you're in a place of like, like, really investing energy where you want to which is yourself you're harnessing this powerful energy right now pisces like i said you think you're alone you think there's no one around but really there are they're like i see them like repair people like fixing you up you know like tuning you up i see them with little like hammers and little like tools and like tweaking you and it's like now you're able to like really you know really see the real world you know and what it's about like you see what's what it's not about the petty fighting, the stupid fighting. And they're like, no, I'm working on myself. So the overall energy Pisces here is the sun for you, is happiness. So for the ones that feel that maybe they don't, you know, have it all together, they don't have the family that they want, they don't have, I don't know, the job, I don't know. You know, are you happy? Are you peaceful, Pisces? You know, it's like, because I feel like this is where this energy is going to grow for you. You know, I, I don't know. I feel like an overwhelming sense of joy. Now, I don't know if some of you are getting through some type of illness, some type of breakup in the family, some type of like, you know, fight, you know, but it's like ever since you've been in this place of maybe hermiting, maybe closing doors off, you're starting to feel a lot better. That's what I'm getting. Or if you're not, maybe spirit is saying that's what you need to do in order to feel better. You know, go into this place of solitude, go into your dreams, go into your visions, It'll pull you out into a happier world. That's the energy that I'm getting there. Spirit, tell me more about this sun. We have the queen of pentacles. One more. Wow. And the knight of swords. Give me one moment. You have bigger fish to fry. That's what I just heard. You have bigger fish to fry. Um, I don't know what that means exactly, Pisces. You have bigger fish to fry. So maybe this pettiness is beneath you. Maybe this type of arguing is beneath you. You know, you've outgrown it. I don't really know what it is. But yeah, there's this intense energy of going after your happiness, whatever that is. You know, uh, a lot of times the queen of pentacles is a mother. It could be a father for the men out there. But it's like maybe investments, maybe taking your, your little bit of money and flipping it and turning it to something bigger. I feel like spirit wants you to live in a place of abundance, not where you're living paycheck to paycheck, not where you're kind of like, um, you know, thinking about where the next day, next money is going to come from. There's an opportunity for you here, Pisces, to to live in a place of abundance of happiness of freedom do you know do you guys know what that's like to live money worry money free you know i don't know that's what i'm feeling do you guys know what it's like to live carefree to live knowing that you have enough money for you and for other people as well like the people that you take care of i don't know 
but there is an opportunity here that's coming very fast towards you follow your bliss Pisces whatever makes you happy that's where the energy is gonna grow and if you're one of those people that I was talking to in the beginning where it's like you're kind of like I'm not doing much I'm not moving forward you are you are intensifying your vibration so that when it does come when this opportunity does come you're gonna know exactly what to say and how to handle it so there's an energy also Pisces of the things that you say make other people happy I don't know that's what I'm feeling the things that you say and the things that you do for others you spread joy you spread happiness to others it's almost like when you speak the whole energy in the room changes so you don't speak a lot that's what I'm getting you don't speak a lot but when you do everyone hears you the whole energy shifts even to the ones Pisces that act like they didn't hear what you said or they purposely ignore you because they're not on your vibrational level you know even to those the energy still shifts to me this is like I guess manifesting like you change the energies in a room or you just speak something and then things just start changing around you and people want to deny they always deny this Pisces about you about how powerful you are and when you speak or where you go or your energy sometimes just being in a room how everything can change people deny that people may not be able to see it as well but there is a powerful energy that's coming maybe you're harnessing this energy so you could bring more happiness and more healing to the masses Pisces some of you may be in some type of health care is what I'm feeling or you may be deciding to go into health care I don't know all right, let's keep going. Spirit, tell me more about the 10 of cups. We got the strength, one more, and the judgment. Bear with me, guys. I'm like somewhere else. So some, for some of you, yes, it is family members that are petty, that are fighting, that want to bring you down to them. What is it? Misery loves company type of feeling. I am feeling that. Um, um, they're also upset, Pisces, that maybe you don't answer the phone for them. Maybe you don't. I, don't. I don't know who this could be exactly, but somebody's upset that you don't answer the phone, that you don't text them back quickly, that you don't put them maybe in a priority. You know what I feel? I feel like, yes, you don't want to bother in the nonsense, like you don't want to fight with people, but it's also you trying to like tame yourself. It's also you trying not to go into that lower levels, like you don't want somebody to poke the bear type of feeling. So I do feel like you're like, okay, no, I want to stay in a high vibrational state, so let me stay away from these people. But I just felt someone that gets very upset when you don't text them back quickly enough, when you don't answer the phone for them, they get very upset. And I will go deeper. Let's go a little bit deeper to that. All right, Spirit, tell me more about this judgment in reverse. Some of them want you to unblock them is what I felt for some of you. They want, they want you to unblock them. They want to have access into your life. They want this to go away. That's the feeling. They just want this to go away. I just felt that, Pisces. Can we just like make this go away? You know, at this point, Pisces, the problem is not even about them. I'm going to keep it real with you. The problem is you can't unsee what you've already seen. That may mean a couple of different things for some of you. I can't unsee what I've already seen. You've seen something higher, something better, maybe for yourself, maybe in this place of solitude, maybe it, you're vibrating so high now that you can just feel their vibration and it's not for you. But there's this person, Pisces, that it's like they don't see it. They just want your energy back. They just want that feeling again back, Pisces. They want you to unblock them. They want you to communicate with them. I feel like they're going to try. They're going to keep trying, but I feel you too hyper-focused. You're hyper-focused in your healing. You're hyper-focused in containing the demons. You know, not containing the demons, but like, you know, not resorting to your old ways, not lashing out. Like, it's not part of you anymore. Like, you don't want to be that person. You just want to be happy. You know, and I think a lot of you are finding happiness just doing your own thing. Because in this place of doing your own thing, it's like you're hard harnessing energy. And you're doing it for a bigger purpose. For, so that one day when you do pick a direction, and I'm going to give an example. It could be like healthcare. You're going to help heal the masses. And that's just what I'm getting there. All right, Spirit, tell me more about this five of 
Wands. Six of Swords in reverse. One more. And the Eight of Pentacles. Let me tell you, Pisces, I feel that people truly will never let you go. I, I always feel this for you. It's something that you do. It's an energy that you contain. That no matter how bad a situation is, and it looks, it may seem really bad. It may seem like there is no coming back from this. This person will figure out a way to come back from it. That's what I'm getting here. I don't know. And, and people just gravitate towards you like that, Pisces. That's why I tell you, don't worry. If somebody's not around and you and you choose, you want them around, they'll always come back, Pisces. They will always come back. I always tell you that because that's the truth. You know, and I always say too, whether it, you can have whatever you want, whether it's good for you or whether it's bad for you, you decide. That's your choice, Pisces. All right, get into this real quick. One moment, guys. So you can't unsee what you've already seen. So this person, I feel like, wants to work things with you. They want to put time. They want to put energy. They want to invest in maybe a situation with you. But you've already seen something. I can't even explain this really well. You've already seen something. This person does not want to let go. I don't know who this person. It could be a family. I do have the Ten of Cups there. They will not let you go. Like, they need you so bad. It's like a feeling of of you belong to them even though you belong to anybody you know but it is a feeling like that pisces it's like you're the security blanket you know that's what you feel like you're the security blanket and maybe at some point it felt that way for you too it felt that way for you too you were each other's security blanket that's tough to disassociate i'm feeling it that is very tough to disassociate from but you can't unsee what you've already seen is what i'm getting you know that you maybe they'll move on eventually pisces but you've been picked for something bigger you've grown up you've matured and this person unfortunately still needs you like a security blanket i'm going to go a little bit deeper spirit tell me more about this six of swords king of wands you have this ability, Pisces, to make people better. I don't know. You just do. They may not give you the props for it. They may not. I'm feeling it. But you just do. I don't know what it is. It could just be your energy. Maybe sometimes people want to be as good as you, so they, 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 you know, they try to be like you type of feeling. Um, but I have the energy, like whatever it is that you touch, and this might be because of your ability to harness energy. You walk into a room, you change the energy of a room. You know, you say a few words, people's minds change, things change all around you. Um, so you might, that might be part of it too, this king of wands there, that might be a part of it too, like they wind up changing, you know, but sometimes they don't see it that way. And that's what I'm getting. They don't see it that way. They think they're doing this all on their own. They think they did it all. They had the idea all by themselves. And I'm not saying this because you need the props for it. It's more so I'm giving you the confirmation, the validation that your energy inspires other people. It helps people, you know, reach higher within themselves. And that's on purpose. That's in this beautiful energy that you are harvesting, Pisces. All right, I hope I'm making sense. All right, I do have guilt at the bottom that I looked at. This person, all they think about is coming back. All they think about is aspiring. Actually, they think they're a little better than you in some way. Sorry, sorry. I'm going to tell you the truth, Pisces. They think they could do what you do, but better. That's the feeling that I'm getting. All right, I got tuning in, in the reversal. I'm gonna do one more. Spirit, give me one more. Okay, and control. All right. We got guilt, tuning in, in the reversal, and control. I'll just keep it upright for the pictures. So, this person thinks that they can 
tune in the way that you tune in without doing the necessary steps, which is kind of like oh, tuning in. What I'm feeling here, Pisces, is like them coming closer to your life, them being a part of your life. Uh, they're not doing the necessary steps. Yes, they're feeling a lot of guilt. They feel all these different emotions, but they don't know how to handle it. One of the ways that I feel like it would help them to be able to better tune in, come into your life and be closer to you is if they actually admitted who you are in their life how important you were in their life, how much you've helped change them in life. But I don't know if they're willing to give up that control. There, there needs to be no ego for this, Pisces. I'm sure a lot of you can sit there and say, this person has changed my life. This person has done this, this, and this. Whether it's good, bad, I don't really know. But I'm, I know you guys. I know you guys are a lot more humble. You don't see it through ego. Now, if this is like a narcissist, Pisces, this isn't it. This isn't it. Like, we know about narcissists here. This isn't it. But it is a person that doesn't want to give you... Maybe it is a narcissist as well. I don't know. They don't want to give you the props of how much you change, you've, you've helped them change in their life. How you even... Some of them you've even saved. They do not want to give you that control because that means they owe you something. That's what I'm getting there, Pisces. That, that means they would owe you something and they don't want to feel like they owe you anything. Maybe it is a narcissist for that to come out of my mind. But then why do they feel guilt? Let me throw one more out. Spirit, give me one more. Got the justice in reverse. Let me see. You know, some of them just feel bad, Pisces, that you may have justice on your side karma is on your side the universe is on your side they may be experiencing a lot of downfalls you know a lot of problems maybe by not communicating with you maybe their money is not the same i don't really know but um they're seeing something about you they see that you're okay they see it's like they can actually see your future and your destiny as well i don't know if this person's a little bit psychic but they know you're the winning team that song is coming to mind, my team. Watch me while I do my thing. Baby, I got me only friends I need. Playing on my team is someone like hey, hey, hey. Watch me while I do my thing. That's Iggy Azalea. You're the winning team, Pisces. So this person maybe picked the wrong team. That could mean that as well. I feel like they know they made a bad choice and a bad decision in life, but there's something here that they will not release, like by saying this. They don't want to say it to you, Pisces. And that's their problem. That's a personal problem. That's not yours. Pisces, the overall energy here is that you feel like you're not moving fast enough. You feel like maybe you're on your couch, you're sleeping in, you're doing these things. What you're really doing is vibrating high. Keep on vibrating high. And you are correct. You have outgrown some people. You don't need anything from them. You got me, right? That's how the song goes. Watch me while I do my thing. Watch you and your so-called imaginary friends elevate you to a new dimension manif like you're going to be making your dreams come into reality and you're going to be having these really deep premonitions about what's happening it's different for all of you some of you may possess all three of them oh there's a feeling here also pisces of some type of spirit guy that might be like a rocker like a rocker type of energy and i don't know what that means long hair um leather jacket it's a spirit guide all right, Pisces, I hope you like the reading. Please like and subscribe and thank you.